We got some more science videos, man. What happens if you destroy a black hole? And let's watch. Black holes can destroy everything, but can they mm -hmm. be destroyed? What happens if we push physics to the absolute limit, maybe even breaking it and the universe in the process? Let's create a tiny black hole about the mass of our moon in the Kurzgesagt labs and try to rip it apart. Another Experiment black hole, let's follow it. Nuke it. Big booms break things, so to set the moon, oh, that would not let's do explode anything. the world's entire nuclear arsenal around our black hole. They just swallow it. Black holes swallow whatever crosses their event horizon, matter and energy. And since E equals MC squared, all the energy that enters a black hole increases its mass. The mass of a black hole is proportional to its size, so as we nuke our tiny black hole, it just gets bigger and more massive. Experiment 2. Oh. Antimatter. Matter and antimatter annihilate each other. What will happen if we throw a moon's mass of antimatter at it? Unfortunately, when an object enters a black hole, the black hole will completely delete its past identity, whether it's made of matter or of antimatter. Black holes oh. only care about gravity, which only depends on the total mass energy of an object. And the mass of a particle is the same as its corresponding antiparticle, so throwing an anti-moon has the same effect as throwing a moon. The black hole oh. just gets more massive. Wow. This deleting ability of black holes is pretty interesting. It means that despite their size and power, black holes are, in a way, similar to elementary particles. An elementary particle like an electron is an extremely simple object, fully specified by just three numbers, its mass... Hold on, the title says what happens if you destroy... Man, I'd say another one would be made, honestly. Because what else? It wouldn't just be energy flowing like a big bang. It wouldn't be like that, would it? I'm just gonna assume the answer is gonna be it's gonna have to be it's gonna have to get bigger or split into some other mutated black hole. Cause yeah, I'm gonna stick to that. Hopefully I'm right. In and charge. And amazingly, the same is true for black holes. They have a mass, they can rotate and carry an electric charge. Once a black hole forms, it doesn't matter if it comes from a collapsed star, an anti-star, or a banana, it will always be fully described by those three numbers, nothing else. But if a black hole is basically a weird particle, could we destroy it with an anti-black hole? Experiment 3. Anti-black hole. Hmm. How exciting! A particle has the same mass as its corresponding anti-particle, but opposite charge. Since a black hole has mass and electric charge, its corresponding anti-black hole should have the same mass and opposite electric charge. What if we make them collide? Sadly, the charge will just add up and cancel out. See? So after the collision, we'll just get a new black hole twice as massive with no charge. Uh, okay, um... we need to think bigger and stretch physics harder. Experiment 4. Destroy the event. Why would we... Wait, 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 but why would we need to destroy one? In what situ- I mean, okay, maybe if it's close to us. But then again, uh... I don't want to destroy a black hole, though. It feels like even if we do break physics, we probably have to use all our resources ever to destroy one of these things. Yo, black holes are actually creepy, man. It's like... I don't know, the name itself just makes me, you know, scared a little bit. It's just a black hole full of darkness. In my opinion, it just, like, swallows everything. So how do you destroy darkness? I mean, light, obviously, but... But just, it's a hole of darkness swallowing everything. How do you destroy that, even if you could? I don't know, I just feel like it's going to split into multiple parts, man. Th this thing is too good. They have so much science behind it's it. It's true that a black hole can carry spin and charge, but even for these crazy objects, there are limits. If the spin or the charge of a black hole becomes too large, something really weird will happen. The event horizon will dissolve. In a simplified way, we think of black holes as hiding a singularity inside, an infinitely compressed mass with such strong gravity that absolutely nothing can escape from its surroundings, not even light. This is why a black hole looks like a black sphere of nothingness. The event horizon is the outer edge of this ultimate prison. Cross it, 
and you'll never be able to come back. But when a black hole rotates, it works a bit like a spinning washing machine. It's as if the rotation wants to repel nearby objects and push them out of the black hole, which doesn't happen because its gravity is so strong. But if the rotation gets too fast, this effect will win and the event horizon will disappear. Nearby objects won't be imprisoned forever anymore. The same thing happens with the electric charge. Make it too large and our ironclad jail will break open. If we manage to destroy the event horizon, the singularity would still be there and objects would still naturally fall towards it. If you hit it, you would still die horribly and quickly. But the vicinity of the singularity won't be an inescapable prison anymore. You could get as close as you want and come back. This should count as destroying the black hole. Nah. It that doesn't count though, it's still there. Oh, and then, then again, so you clickbaited me. Man, I knew black holes couldn't be destroyed. Oh, that gave me so Aaron much hope. Five, overfeeding. All then it just be is to super, super big. Spin the black hole. We could do this by throwing objects with a small mass and a lot of charge or angular momentum so that the charge or spin increases faster than the mass. We have to overfeed the black hole until it reaches the point where it breaks open. However, whether you can actually do this is the subject of passionate argument among physicists. I don't think, think of a charged black man. hole. Equal charges repel each other, and the more like no, 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 because the way I think about this is like, let's say a competitive eater. You think you know from uh, not even logical, just like whatever hypoth hy hypothetical thinking you're going through. You're like, well, if we feed this guy like a million hot dogs, would he burst open or something like that? It's like this. If you're gonna, I mean they can carry up to a certain amount of stuff but then you realize it's a whole of nothingness it doesn't matter what you throw in there if you overfeed it man the worst it can do is just like spit some things out and then still be a black hole you, it can't burst bro this isn't like a balloon man i don't know man it's not that fragile i think highly of these black holes there's something I need to hear what he said. With the same charges you squish together, the more they push back. So let's say that we have a negatively charged black hole and we want to overfeed it with electrons, for example, whose charge is far larger than its mass. The electrons will feel an electrostatic repulsion. And the more electrons we throw, the larger the negative charge of the black hole will be and the stronger the repulsion. But once we reach the upper limit, the electrostatic repulsion will be so strong that it won't allow any more electrons to come in. Oh, At this that's point, smart. the black hole will refuse to be overfed. With the what spin, the it's similar. Once the black hole reaches its upper limit, it won't gobble more spin. But wow, so I was... Yo, I was actually close. What the hell? I was close. I was saying it was going to just spit everything back out once it gets full, but... Close enough. I'd say I'm doing good so far. What looks like a loophole. If an instant logical black thinking hole too, reaches the way. limit, we throw the right amount of matter in in just the right way, it looks like we could actually... Oh, how do you get there? It. Most scientists are skeptical, but let's give it a try anyway. I would too, though. The end? Breaking physics. There is a catch, though. The event horizon of a black hole... Just use magic at this point, man. So destroying the horizon would leave us with a naked singularity, one that is not hidden by an event horizon. And this poses a problem. It could mean the end of physics as we know it. There's a big dirty secret about black holes. Contrary to widespread belief, the singularity of a black hole is not really at its center. No, it's in the future of whatever crosses the horizon. Black holes warp the universe so drastically that at the event horizon, space and time switch their roles. Once you cross it, falling towards the center means going towards the future. That's why you can't escape. Stopping your fall and turning back would be just as impossible as stopping time and traveling to the past. So the singularity is actually in your future, not in front of you. And just like you can't see your own future, you won't see the singularity until you hit it. But you also can't hit something that's in your future, only sort of what? experience it. Like you'll experience your next birthday when it happens. Singularities that are in the future are not a problem because we can't see them or interact with them. What the hell? What? Well, I I don't even know, man. How the hell am I supposed to get to somewhere I'm never gonna get? 
so dying is the way to see this singularity or whatever because if you're not gonna reach it yeah so well video just says you'll never re destroy a black hole that's what they're saying because what the hell it's in the future if it's in the future man yeah it's as good as telling you just die when you get to this level naked singularity would be in front of us for all of us to see what would we see well the whole point is that it's impossible to know a singularity is a region of infinite gravity and gravity is the bending of space-time at a singularity the bending is so radical that the fabric of space-time is literally broken space and time don't exist anymore this means that you can't predict anything since predicting means making a forecast about where so you're and immortal when if you live around happen. there but where and when have lost their meaning so we have an unpredictable thing with infinite gravity and therefore infinite energy if people could live in this little space that means no no death or no aging at all right because the re yeah no no age because there's no time no space it's nowhere you're just living well obviously you can't live in something like that but if you could make a world in there sheesh man i feel like that's one way to get immortality while alive on a planet this something. means that anything could come out of it for no reason from a pile of bananas to lost socks or a solar system predictability causality and physics a solar the system break down we think that singularities should exist in nature because we can prove that under very general conditions gravitational collapse leads to the formation of singularities however scientists think that nature forbids the formation of naked singularities something enforces the creation of an event horizon around them to prevent their insanity from infecting the rest of the universe without event horizons physics may not make sense at all so although black holes have been portrayed as the ultimate monsters of the universe they may actually be the heroes that keep us safe from the madness of singularities so if we do destroy the horizon we might destroy the fundamental rules of the universe you know what let's not do that conclusion the safe option as far as we know there's just one safe method to destroy a black hole wait all black holes emit tiny particles a phenomenon called Hawking radiation this process causes them to slowly lose mass until they eventually evaporate leaving behind no horizon and no naked singularity the time it takes for a black hole to completely evaporate depends on its mass for our mini black hole the size of a speck of dust it will be about 10 to the power of 44 years 10 billion trillion trillion times the present age of the universe so is it possible to destroy a black hole man let me worry about what's gonna happen like in a few hours i'm not worried we're, no one's worried about what the hell is gonna be up with this black hole bro what what 10 to the power of 44 what man i haven't even been alive on earth for like 18 years what the hell are you telling me all right bro yeah we're not gonna go that far guys yes, definitely we just have to wait yeah i'm not waiting i'm not waiting for anything bro let's come back to reality now yeah we're not gonna do that what the hell what why would i hurt myself like this but yeah black holes are really scary i'm just like i've always been a big fan because it's like it's just darkness man i don't know it feels like I want to think about it, but then again, I'm like, imagine we just get swallowed up in a black hole right now. Oh, it just gets me scared, man. It has me tensed up now. Yeah, guys, have a nice day.